hey guys welcome back to my channel c4d wala and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of cinema 4d so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in cinema 4d so let's create our object so first thing we will do we will create one spare and we are not going to change any height and size all we need to do just press and d so we can see the edges and vertices now we will create another shape let's choose cylinder go to the top view and let's decrease the radius of this cylinder like this and let's increase the height a little bit with the help of these coordinates like this and let's move this over here like this select the cylinder and go to the objects let's make this 20 rotation segments now select both of them and press alt g to create a group like that now go to the shape options and choose torus now go to the slice but before that let's adjust it properly press r for rotation and by holding shift rotate it like that go to the torus uh, with the help of these coordinates let's decrease the radius of this one sorry go to the right and let's decrease the radius of whole torus now go to the slice enable this slice like this decrease the value up to here and decrease the value of this one up to the here like this now select this torus if you hit ctrl r we will still get something like this now we don't need to make this editable objects like that now select this torus uh, go to the coordinates and initially let's make this 90 and create one keyframe and go to the frames 90 and let's make it 360 plus 90 and hit ok and create key one keyframe let's move this over here for now and if you see we will get this kind of animation now after that select this r dot ph right click animation and choose show f curve and click on it so again select this right click animation show f curve so it will select this uh, we will get this curve select this rotation and make sure that this curve is selected and then click on this option so it will uh, go on a linear form so now we don't get any ease in ease out on this rotation it's continuous rotation now we will select this null and then we will press l to enable our enable axis then go to the front view press e for move tool and let's move this axis over here and press l again now select this null object uh, and go to the coordinates and let's move this on r dot b let's move this to let's say 30 maybe and create one keyframe go to 45 frames let's make this minus 30 and create one keyframe and go to 90 let's make it 30 again and create one keyframe so if you see we will get this kind of animation now we will select this and now we will select this null object we will go to the windows and then we will choose timeline dope sheet so we will get this rotation key as you can see this is the rotation keyframe of this torus now we will bring our null object over here so the, they will give us this uh, keyframes of this one now let's uh, hide this for now now select this null and by holding control i am going to create a duplicate and now we will rotate it on r dot h let's make it 30 maybe or let's say 90 so if you go to the top view we will get something like this so if we hit play as you can see this looks weird so for now what we will do let's delete it select this null and as you guys know that we have created this timeline dope sheet now uh, if you still don't know how to do that select this go to the windows and over here you will get this timeline dope sheet shortcut key is shift f3 
now enable this and select this rotation now whenever you are going to select this rotation from here you as you can see we have some different options over here over here you will get this option before and after so instead of constant i'm going to choose repeat and after i'm going to choose repeat and this is basically saying that uh, if you want to repeat those keyframes i want before before my main animation and after my main animation i want to repeat it and how much time i i want to repeat let's make 10 and 10 like this for example uh, it means now uh, this animation is still going on uh, after my animation and before my animation for example instead of 90 i'm going to type 120 and if you see as you can see after this there are no keyframes but still this animation will repeat itself because we have done this so this is the basic concept of it let's make it 90 again and now we will select this and by holding control we will create a duplicate and r.h will make it 90 and now we will go to the windows and timeline dope sheet and now as you can see this is the null object uh, of this one now we have to bring back over this null over here and now we will select this rotation of it and with the help of this uh, i'll move this over here around until i get this kind of results somewhere like this yeah and now if i hit play i'll get this continuous looping animation yep so now our looping animation is done and now we will bring back our camera we will go to the objects select this press s and select this camera let's decrease the field of view like this select this press s let's zoom out our camera let's create one cylinder increase the size of it go to the caps make this fillet bring it over here go over here let's bring this over here yep decrease the size of it like that then create one flow and move this flow somewhere around over here yep this looks good to me zoom out this camera a little bit so as you can see we will get this continuous animation like this now select our lights let's increase the size of it go over move this light over here press r for rotation rotate it like that and then rotate it like that press s press e then w and move this over here go over here select this light shadow choose area if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of lights by holding ctrl move this light over here press r w rotate it like that select both the lights by holding shift let's move this lights over here or by holding ctrl move this lights over here press r by holding shift let's rotate it like that now if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of results now after that all you need to do you need to render it out and you need to add some colors so i'm going to double click over here let's apply this over here and this over here and if you hit ctrl r we'll get this kind of results now select this i am going to choose red color for it go to the reflectance choose backman increase the reflection strength and decrease the roughness a little bit and let's see we'll get this kind of results now you can select this material by holding ctrl you can create a duplicate double click on it go to the color choose black color and apply this to this torus if you want to get get this kind of thing or you can change the color of this one to anything you want i'll do something like that let's see yep this looks good to me then i'll apply this color to this thing and double click and apply this material to the flow select this go to the color let's make this black color 
reflectance choose backman decrease the roughness and increase the reflection strength and if you hit ctrl r we will get the reflection of the all these things over here you can select this material and you can increase the roughness if you want which is gonna helpful to create some rougher reflections like this and if you want you can remove this light from here and let's see let's enable this and let's change the camera angle let's select this let's decrease the specular strength and let's see now select this flow let's go over here press e w let's move this a little bit over here yep this looks good to me now if you want to add you can select this you can enable luminance channel and you can choose the same color if you want you can decrease the luminance value and if you hit ctrl r now you will get this luminance and that reflections together so yep with the help of this kind of techniques you can create this kind of rotation animation and you can apply this color to this one also so this is how with the help of simple technique you can create this kind of rotation animations and looping animations i must say so or uh, there is another thing you need to do select this torus and increase the pipe not pipe segment but ring segments like this so yep this is gonna be our final output of looping animation